Today I will show you how to solve one-step equations with multiplication and division. Multiplication and division are opposite operations. They're also called inverse operations. Our first example is 6m equals 30. 6m means 6 times m. We need to isolate the variable by using the opposite operation. We're multiplying the variable by 6, so the opposite of multiplying is dividing. We're going to divide the variable by 6. Now, what we do to one side, we must do it to the other side. So the equation is balanced. So let's divide 30 by 6. Now, 6 divided by 6 is 1. So let's write it down. And let's copy down the variable. So the numerical coefficient here is 1. And when the numerical coefficient is 1, we don't need to write it down. So we're just going to erase it. So m times 6 and m divided by 6 just cancel each other out. So we're going to cross it off. And we are left with m equals 2, 30 divided by 6, which is 5. Let's check our work to make sure that m actually equals to 5. So we're going to copy down the equation. So let's substitute this 5 into the equation. Six times five is 30. Right side equals to the left side. Give yourself a check mark. This means that m actually equals to five. Let's do another example. We have 32 equals 4k. 4k just means four times k. We need to isolate the variable by using the opposite operation. We're multiplying the variable by four. So the opposite operation of multiplying is dividing. So we're going to divide the variable by 4. What we do to one side, we must do to the other side to keep it balanced. So let's divide 32 by 4. Now 32 divided by 4 is 8. k times 4 and then k divided by 4 just cancel each other out. So we're going to cross it off. And we are left with k. So k equals to 8. Let's check our work. Let's copy down the equation. We're going to substitute this 8 inside the equation. So 4 times 8 is 32. Right side equals to the left side. Give yourself a check mark. Let's do another example. We have n divided by 3 equals 9. We can also write the equation like this. We need to use the opposite operation to isolate the variable. We're dividing the variable by 3, so we're going to times it by 3. What we do to one side, we must do it to the other side. Now n times 3 and n divided by 3 cancel each other out, and we are left with n equals to 9 times 3, which is 27. Let's check our work. Let's copy down the equation. We're going to substitute this 27 inside the equation. So 27 divided by 3 is 9 equals 9. Right side equals to the left side. Give yourself a check mark. Let's do another example. We have 10 equals b divided by 6. We need to isolate the variable by using the opposite operation. We're dividing the variable by 6, so the opposite of division is multiplication. We're going to times the variable by 6. What we do to one side, we must do it to the other side. 6 times 10 is 60. Let's write that down. Copy down the equal sign. So b times 6 and then b divided by 6 just cancel each other out. So we're just going to cross it off. And we're left with b. So b equals to 60. Let's check our work and let's copy down the equation. We're going to substitute the 60 inside the equation. 
60 divided by 6 is 10. Right side equals to the left side. Give yourself a check mark. Here are some practice questions. You have six seconds before the answers will appear on the screen. So pause now. Here are the answers. If you want to learn how to solve equations with addition and subtraction, I'm adding the link at the top of the screen. So please watch that tutorial. And in my next video, I will be showing you how to solve two step equations. So hit that subscribe button so you don't miss that video. Thank you for watching.